My name is Dennis DeSantis. I'm at the Ableton office in Berlin, and I'm just going to make a track using Ableton Live. So I'm going to do something with this track, kind of a down-tempo, arpeggiated chord thing. This is much too fast. So let's make this slower. I'm going to play with the sound a little bit. Great, that's kind of what I want. Now I'm just going to record this idea. Great, and then I'm going to add a little bit more to this sound. So in live, I can drop new, uh, new instruments, new effects in place, and create tracks on the fly without ever stopping a clip. So I have some ideas about what I want this groove to do. I'm going to launch this clip, and we can listen to it as I write the part. So I like what I have so far, but it's a little too purely electronic. I'd like to record an acoustic part on top of this. So working in live session view is great because I can leave the clips that I have recorded already running, which makes a great background for me to record a new part. So I want to go in a different direction for, this, uh, for the B section of this song. So I'm going to use some material that I worked on before and just drag this from a different set into the current set. I realized that I like these occasional 30 second note skip beats that happen, but I don't want them in every bar. So I'm going to drag the warp markers for a couple of these to the 16th note that happened before. I think that's going to make slightly better variation. I can now just play with these clips and improvise in real time, turning things on and turning things off, adjusting mixer controls, and record all of this into Live's arrangement view. So now I'm going to press Live's global record button.